This video provides a basic introduction on how to use a PicoScope, a super useful USB powered instrument, which features a two channel oscilloscope and a signal generator. Let's start by visiting the PicoTech website and then downloading the software for our device. In this case, we are using the 2204A model. I am going to select the recommended software version for this device, which is the latest release. Once the software installation is complete, the drivers for the PicoScope will have been installed, and upon connecting the device to the PC, it should be automatically recognized. Let's now connect our PicoScope using the provided USB cable, and then launch the PicoScope 7 software. Let's explore the toolbar on the left-hand side first. Here you can adjust the settings for channel A of the scope and the respective probe. And you can do the same for channel B. You can also set up your signal generator to produce the desired waveform. Before we perform any measurements, we must calibrate our probes. Let's start with channel A. First, we will set the probe to times 10. This is particularly important when measuring signals with high frequency components such as square waves, which is what we will be doing for our calibration. We must also ensure that the settings for channel A's probe in the software match. So we need to set the probe to times 10 in the channel A settings as well. Otherwise, the displayed amplitude will be off by a factor of 10. The next step is to connect the probe to the channel A port of the PicoScope. Then, I'm going to use a signal generator cable, which is one of those cables with two crocodile clips on one side and a BNC connector on the other. I'll connect this cable to the signal generator port of the PicoScope through the BNC. After that, I'll simply connect the output of the signal generator, represented by the two crocodile clips, to the probe. The red clip, which carries the signal, will connect to the signal tip of the probe, and the two grounds will be connected together like so. Now, we need to set our signal generator to produce a square wave, for our probe calibration. Let's change the signal type to square wave, keep the frequency at 1 kHz, set the amplitude to 1 volt, and then turn the signal generator on. As expected, the scope is displaying a square wave, but it's not very stable because we haven't set up the trigger yet. However, let's first adjust the vertical scale to display the waveform more accurately. To do this, click on channel A and select auto under the vertical tab. You can also adjust the vertical scale manually using the plus and minus buttons. Next, click on trigger in the top bar and select auto again. The software has found a stable trigger point for us, which has stabilized the waveform. Now, let's adjust the horizontal scale to display fewer periods of the waveform, which will allow us to calibrate more accurately. We are finally ready to calibrate our probe. To do this, use a trimmer tool to adjust the screw on the probe connector until you get flat tops and flat bottoms on the square wave. One of my probes is now calibrated, which is great. Now, let's do the same for the probe on channel B. First, let's disconnect the channel A probe from the signal generator, and then let's connect the channel B probe instead. Note that this probe is also set to times 10, so we will need to ensure that the channel B settings in the software are adjusted to match. So let's click on channel B and set the probe to times 10 first. Then turn on the channel in auto scale mode by clicking on auto in the vertical tab. Note that the trigger, which is in auto mode, has automatically switched the trigger source to channel B and found an appropriate trigger point. We can now see a waveform which clearly indicates that the probe is not calibrated. As we did before, we use a trimmer tool to adjust the screw on the probe connector until we get flat tops and flat bottoms on the square wave. Now that we've calibrated both probes correctly, we can proceed with any other measurements using our picoscope.